every breed, the Bulldog Club of America being no exception, has what's called a standard of what a bulldog is and what are the components that make a bulldog a bulldog. And there are a lot of breeders out there that try to breed to the standard as carefully as possible. Um, if you do breed to that standard, the dog tends to be very healthy. And and if you breed for color, for example, people who just try to breed a fancy colored bulldog or someone in their backyard that has a, a little uh, female uh, dog and they want to have litters, they'll breed to a random stud. Those are that's when you get into trouble because you don't understand the genetics and you don't understand what's behind the dog. Any responsible breeder will know exactly if there is, for example, juvenile cataracts that that could run in the lines. We genetically test for that, and any dogs that are carriers typically aren't bred. So, the line really should be one. If you don't know what you're doing, you shouldn't do it. Um, and people who do know what they're doing are extremely careful. They keep extremely good records. They know their pedigrees. They know what an inbreeding is acceptable, what levels of inbreeding, when to outcross. And they do try to outcross as far as possible, but still within the breed. Um, these are done all the time by very responsible breeders. Hmm. The, the UK Kennel Club made some changes to the breed standard following major controversy over the bulldog health in uh, 2009. Is there anything about the breed standard? That could yeah, be changed Ira, to make the bulldog healthier. Ira, can I make some comments? Yes, as a as a veterinarian, my first concern is he- the health of the dogs, and what we want to see are dogs that are going to live a normal lifespan and and die from the normal type of degenerative and old age diseases that one would expect. And I would argue that the line is crossed when a breed can't run freely, a breed can't breathe freely, a breed can't uh, reproduce freely, and a breed can't be free of uh, things that affect its immune system. And so in all of those categories, bulldogs do not run freely, they do not breathe freely, they do not breed freely, and they have problems with their immune systems and other things as well. So uh, where you cross a line depends on how you look at it. I'm, and I'm sure that many veterinarians would say that that line has been crossed a long time ago. 